All right, so right now we're just walking through the barrio. I've been thinking about something that I want to do. I've been thinking about it for a long time. I think every time in life we have a chance to rewrite a script. Maybe a script that we not necessarily like that we wrote. And the script that I want to rewrite is my basketball career. I don't like the way my career ended, being cut in Argentina. My goal is to work out. And attempt to become a professional basketball player again at 45 years old. The name of this project will be Project 45. If you don't know me, and this is your first time watching me, my name is Hassan. When I was a kid, it was my dream to play basketball in the NBA. This week, I turned 44 years old. Right now, I'm building a technology company named All Dreams, where we help amateur athletes capture their sports journey in a dreamer's vault. I'm ready for my varsity football game as a freshman, only 14 years old, wide receiver. And our athletes can monetize their dreamers vault every time a supporter subscribes to watch their vault. So, so let, so let me, let me, let me explain this, this product that we're, that we're bringing, that we're, that we're bringing to the world. This shit is, this shit is so exciting. I started all dreams because I'm my own customer of this company. I'm living just as all of my customers are living they're going after their dreams. I'm still going after my dreams. The, the vision is where, where he wants to go is to play to play college and possibly play professional. Yes. Okay. Okay. I've been there. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I've been there. I went, yeah, I played I played division I played division 1. I went to Bethune Cookman, but I had to go I had to go to Juco route, so yeah, um the the the, the scholarship takes care of your housing. <laughs> and food at the and food at the calf, and then you might get some pell, you know, some tap and tap or pell, you know. But how long does that last when you're, you know, when you're a kid, you know, right? Yeah, I mean, so, so, so you yeah, absolutely, you the for sure, for sure, for sure. One of the problems that I'm finding is parents don't have money to to pay for all of the training and things like that, and they're having trouble. Um, and also kids aren't telling their story so they can get support. So you have all of the you have all of the bearing on the parents and they're like, man, like, and the parents are the only ones that support the kids. But if you look at a person like Tom Brady, like he had like 10, 12 people that supporting him, you know, and that actually helped him get to where he where he's going. You need more than your parents to support your dream.
And what they admitting is they ain't got shit for him. Ah, uh -huh, New York. What are they doing? Yeah. Come on, start, man. Bien, bien. Bien, bien. Bien, bien. Bien, bien. Man, that guy right there, man, he a piece of work, man. Sometimes, man, when you, you know, as a foreigner, I don't know how it is for Europeans, but as American, you know they look at you and try to try to get whatever whatever service that they want to sell you they'll become friends with you to sell you that service <laughs> that guy right there he drove me one time on in drive and i asked him how much it would cost to take me to uh to baru tried to overcharge me i looked at the uber price the uber price was less and uh so I never dealt with him again. So now he see me in the neighborhood because he living in the same, he living, he living in, on the next street over to see him in the neighborhood. I talk to him, I speak to him, man, be friendly, man. Cause there's no reason to not, to not be friendly with him. I just won't never do business with him again. I won't never ride in his car again. So yeah, but on our way to the gym, you know what I mean? And uh, shit, that's what we be doing. Another workout down. <laughs> Find get it back in. Woo! Get it back. Come on back with me, you know what I'm saying? Still to this day, the biggest heartbreak in my life was being cut from my professional basketball team in Argentina in 2004. 20 years later, I still have not repaired this broken heart. I don't like the way my career ended, being cut in Argentina. And um, I wanna attempt to play professional basketball again. Not facing this as a loss, and mourning that loss has affected my life in many ways. Confidence, faith testing, acting out, not being self-aware, and feeling like a quitter for 20 years has been some of the ongoing emotions that I've had. Like I said before, as a dreamer, 
you know, I have to live this. I have to live exactly what I'm building. I have to live what I talk about. Now it's time to rewrite this script. Why? Because many times in life we fail, not because we're not good enough. Many times we can give our all, work hard, and still not get the results that we wanted. fact is, I can't live with myself knowing that I was good enough and I quit. Just finished the first workout. Um, it's going to be difficult because I had to be an elite shooter. If I'm going to do this, I have to be an elite shooter. When I was younger, I can get away with my athleticism. I was a very athletic player. If I'm gonna do this, I gotta be almost automatic with a jump shot. And my shit looking terrible right now. No excuses. It's tough, man. Anything is tough when you start again, though. Anything is tough when you start in general. Tell me you was the best at something when you just started something. Shit don't happen. Now, I can challenge myself to rewrite my own history. This year, I will focus on three things. Building my company, all dreams. So right now I wanna go through the progress of the all dreams application. So when you first come to the application, it will be a screen with videos on it from different people that are going after their dreams. You click onto a profile and you can watch his videos that are public. Scroll down, you can look at his comments. You can go to the Dreamers profile. It will be links to their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of their other socials. Right here you have about this Dreamer, a bio, recent Dream supporters right here. And then this specific Dreamer right here has 20 videos, but they're in chronological order, as you can see. Videos from 20, 2024, 2023, 2022, and so on. This is why this is called a dreamer's vault, because you can go back and watch the progress of this dreamer. The second thing that I'm focused on this year, constantly showing the journey of building a company through my YouTube channel. I'm erasing things off the board because I accomplished these things. Right, I started them and I completed them. That's a huge thing, because we all start, but not everyone completes. Not everyone starts either, but um, yeah. So I'm erasing this because we've done it. Out of here, I think. Ah, yep, video one, gone. Uh, this one right here, I just uploaded this today. This is gone. And we have a ton more ideas, but completion is key. You know, it's cool to start. It's cool to have all of this ambition. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna get, you know, 
man, I got, I got this vision for this, whatever you want to put in the world, but you got to continue and complete the mission. And the third is becoming a professional basketball player again and getting signed to play in some place in Latin America. My goal is to work out and attempt to become a professional basketball player again at 45 years old. The name of this project will be Project 45. By my 45th birthday, my goal is to be on a roster playing professional basketball again, meaning getting paid to play. I haven't played competitively for 20 years, but I still believe that I can do it. This journey possibly can inspire others to know age is not a barrier and we can rewrite our script at any time. The only way you can follow Project 45 is by subscribing to my personal Dreamers Vault. When you subscribe, you can watch my Project 45 journey. You also will receive my dream box and let's become a professional basketball player once again. Please like, subscribe, and comment and continue to follow this journey.